I'm in a very uh, windy uh, but scenic part of Ireland in Kinsale and I thought it would be useful in this uh, video to have a look at uh, time-lapse recording uh, using the Magic Lantern software. So let's have a look at that now. See my, um, it's, I'm set to manual, I've got a shutter speed of one hundredth of a second and that's, um, I don't really want to go much higher than that for the clouds so it doesn't give sort of a, a kind of a too much of a juttery effect, I want a small bit of blur, lower is better but I need that for the exposure today. You can see there for where the aperture should be it says f00, that's because this is a manual lens and it doesn't actually um, communicate with the camera regarding the aperture so I've manually set the aperture, it's a Samyang 14mm lens so I set the aperture to um, f16 and uh, that's fine because I want a good depth of field uh, for the whole uh, subject. The actual, uh, it's about three, four meters away, um, the actual, uh, the sign there, which is what I want to focus on and all the background behind that. And then ISO 100, um, so that's pretty well it. I've got a cloudy white balance just to give it a bit warmer feel. Although I'm going to be shooting in RAW so it doesn't make much difference because in RAW you can change the, um, the white balance to whatever you want anyway. So that's uh, uh, pretty well it and um, on the camera settings. So now I'm going to set the uh, Magic Lantern itself. I'm actually using the 650D and this is, uh, this is one of the alpha builds but it works, everything works uh, fine on it. To be, to be honest it's just not all the audio works quite perfectly but it's pretty good now the alpha bill so it's the same really as using the uh, 600d the t3i or any, any of the other ones the 700d also t5i uses this alpha build as well i think or a similar one so if i click on the you can see there the shut up the uh, the trash uh, button it brings you into the magic lantern screen as always and if i just go back and forth you can see all the settings there so what I want to do is I want to go to where it says shoot so you can see there's got advanced bracket well I'm not going to do bracketing on this that's for I'm going to use that for HDR uh, time lapse I'm just going to do straightforward time lapse so if I go into the in intervalometer, meter click on on it's set for three seconds that was the last setting I was using on it so I'm just going to change that because I want it to be uh, a two seconds anything between one to three seconds is pretty good for clouds so um, I'm going to go the higher the uh, number of seconds the faster the clouds will appear so the lower the number of the seconds the uh, slower the clouds will appear so I'm just going to go press the Q button there so I'm just going to press the Q button you can see it brings you into the sub menu there and I'm just going to go back into that again and then uh, once I'm in the sub menu I'm going to um, click on the set button there and I'm just going to go down I'm going to make it medium, so, so I want to go to two seconds for the clouds. Start trigger, that's when I leave the menu, it'll start, that's fine. And it's going to then start after three seconds. And that's it, I'm not going to bother to have a, um, a stop after set. Um, I'm going to basically leave it for about 10, 50, say 15 minutes um, on that. And that's it, so when I come out of that, it will start, you can see they're counting down from two seconds. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you found that useful.